Hey Vites, I'm Carly Bond and you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Aaron and Cadence caught up with a student about their pets at home. Her name is Scarlett. She's a English Mastiff. She's five, so I think we got her when she was like a few months old. She's very cuddly and like she loves to just lay on you and I love it. <laughs> it's awesome. Amazing. She's like just so pretty. For finals, odd classes will be on Monday, January 11th, and even classes will be on Tuesday, January 12th. Any students interested in playing in the Police Athletic League can pick up an information sheet in the main office. Registration deadline is December 16th. Games start January 16th. Musical auditions. Auditions for the Seaman High School musical, Working, will be held Tuesday, December 8th and Thursday, December 10th at 3.30 p.m. in the choir room. Check Schoology for more information. Tryouts for the 2020-2021 SHS Bowling Team will be held at Westridge Lanes, December 14th through 16th from 3.30 to 5 p.m. Check Schoology for more information. Our gym may be quieter this year, but it won't be empty. The cheer team is selling cardboard cutouts for our fans to be in the gym for our home games. Orders are due 12 on December 17th. Check SchoolG to find the website link to order yours. Lexi caught up with faculty and has them rate the holidays. John is April Fool's Day, but you can. <laughs> no, that's okay. I'm not really a <clears throat> April Fool's Day kind of person. Like I said, I just like to make the the cake where it looks different. Or I've done the the like kitty litter cake where you make it look like you make like a blue cake and you you crumble it up and you put like Oreos in it and make it look like a kitty litter box and then you it's weird. Okay, maybe like Tootsie Rolls and you squish them and spread them out. Okay, St. Right. Patrick's Day doesn't mean a whole lot to me at all. I oh, but I'm Irish, lass. We've got to have a bit of St. Patrick's. Oh, it's I think I'm Irish too, there. actually. You know what? We really need St. David's Day. Uh, uh, Alex, I mean, come on. Uh, St. David is the patron saint of Wales, which is way more uh, important than St. Patrick. Growing up, I hated Valentine's Day. Well, I didn't hate it growing up. I hated it when I was a kid. Well, a teenager. <laughs> when, I started, when I started, started mattering. My mom always did good for my birthday, but because I never got, I mean, I always got Valentine's Day gifts and I got birthday gifts, but like when you're growing up and dating somebody, they're always like, here, here's your Valentine's Day, day gift and your birthday. And you're like, <laughs> See, my birthday is three days before Valentine's Day. So it was perfect because I would, I would sometimes get money and then I could use my money if I had a girlfriend to buy her a Valentine's Day gift and if she didn't. <laughs> anything for my birthday then I didn't have to get her anything for Valentine's Day. It was a, it was a good gauge. Christmas. I, I got to put Christmas over Independence Day. But why? Um, you have reasons, Professor. Uh, uh, all right. Well, three reasons. Reason number one, 
Um, <laughs> Christmas, yeah. Well, he, you know, if you're going to have an argument, you got to have three reasons. So, um, number one, the simple fact that um, there's giving uh, during Christmas. The second one, uh, the the whole like warm spirit. And can you tell I'm BSing? <laughs> the whole warm spirit and <laughs> the cold. Uh, um, and, and then three, yeah, all right, we went with warm spirit. We went with giving. The Christmas lights. Christmas lights. Oh, yeah. I just had a student that had Christmas. Actually, I've had quite a few students with Christmas lights in their rooms. I think that that is pretty amazing. Yeah, is. So. All right, Lexi, we good? Okay, Lexi. <laughs> okay. So number 10 is April Fool's Day. Number 9 is St. Patrick's Day. And number 8 is New Year's Day. Number 7 is Mother's Day. Number 6 is Valentine's Day. Number 5 is Easter. Number 4 is Halloween. Number three is Thanksgiving. Number two is Independence Day. And number one is Christmas. Woo! So 11 is Father's Day. 10 is April Fool's Day, as it should be. Nine is New Year's Day. Eight is Valentine's Day. Boo. <laughs> Seven is St. Patrick's Day, but Mr. Collins thinks that should be called St. David's Day. He's Welsh, apparently. Six is Mother's Day. Five is Easter. Four. Do we have a four? Oh, four is Halloween. How could I forget? <laughs> you love me. I've been leaving one foot so you far. Down. The I forgot. All right, keep um, going. Three is Independence Day. Two is Christmas. And number one is Thanksgiving. Now on to the weather with Zoe. Good afternoon, Vikings. We had quite nice temperatures yesterday and these temps are going to be sticking around for a while longer. Today is going to be unseasonably warm with our temperatures possibly touching into the lower 60s by this afternoon. For your SBTV 7 day forecast, we are going to have the 60s for the next upcoming days. And then Friday, we are going to drop clear back down to the 40s and have some rain showers move through the area. Now back to your anchors. That's all for today, Vikes. Have a great day. Now, now!